For the sake of old Lang Lang. Hmm. Welcome, welcome back to Death Build. Happy New Year and happy time for me flipping this. It was uh, enjoyable. So now I am working on the underside. With that being said, realistically, there's not a great deal to do under here because most of what I need to do with the pans was involved on top. Top. Uh, but what I am going to do, here we go. Didn't think I pulled them out, but here we are. Uh, I have to modify these a bit because this jack point, I can't really use it on the body because of the way that things have been set up. Um, I don't really need it as such because I can just use a bottle jack if I really needed to and just lift it from the places you're supposed to with an actual jack. So this will be discarded, but the main part I do need is the bulk rest of it. So the rest of that giant piece there as such. I need to clean it up. There are quite a few bits of leftover, yeah, pretty much parts from this really because there are a few cuts uh, which were made, but nope, that's that side. Uh, here we go. The other problem I need to tackle is that, <laughs> yeah, I did hack it up quite a bit. It is not a smooth, neat job. And of course, I was rocking it off quite substantially by the end of it. I'm trying to figure out exactly, it must be like that. Something just doesn't seem right there. I need to get closer. But I can't get closer because, right, I might really need to modify these substantially. Um, it seems the existing parts, do I even have them anymore? Yep, there we go. And I don't know which one I've grabbed. Uh, yeah, it looks correct. So, from where it's actually been welded, it's on the inside runner, which... Wow, that's really weird. The existing parts of the chassis itself, these little hooks, they, um, they're in the way. So if I was, for argument's sake, to chop off the existing ones and then use these and just put the whole pan on, which to be honest, probably would have been a lot easier anyway, um, I still would have had a bit of a problem because where it needs to weld on, it would have been sticking up a lot higher. But I suppose you just build the weld up there, but... Anyway, uh, yeah, that's just gonna be a factor of um, chopping that down a bit more so that it then sits where it needs to. At least I have a reference point. Wow, it's way off. What the heck? That's right under. It's basically in line with that hole by the seams of it. Yeah. The um, existing tabs, so these parts here, more or less will line up on where they were beforehand and I can work off that, so oh, I did not think I'd have that much involved, otherwise I wouldn't have slacked off uh, yesterday. I have had a bit of time, I could have actually done a bit of this, but you kind of get back into the swing of things at work and uh, this just wasn't on the cards for me to do, so I'm a week behind, but anyway, I'll uh, press on with modifying these substantially and then we look at welding them back on.
So now the quarter pieces are complete, mostly. It is time to move on, and this is something I've been waiting for for a little while. Uh, reasons beyond really going into. But, end of the day, I secured a cage in which I was going to cut up and use for metal, so bracing as such. The inner sections here are, shall we say, a bit flimsy. So the idea is that running a, uh, a box section through this section here, box section through this section, that works, uh, just to add a bit more reinforcement, a bit less flex to the outside, and of course when I put the space frame on, just a bit more girth to secure it to. But in order to do that, I wanted to keep it as one piece and the crate, well, it was not really in that kind of situation and it wasn't the thickness I needed, it was actually a bit too large. But the good thing is that I managed to do a really sweet swap with another place around here. Uh, they're actually after a crate exactly as it was, so kind of a handshake agreement so to speak and Secured some lengths, 25 by 25, three mil thick stuff here. So this is, let's get it right in there. There we go. But this is perfect for running through the galley here as such. So we're going to start right at the very end, butt it up against that. And then when we get, and the fun thing is too, there are a few bends through here. So this is where Good. This is where things do get a little bit more tricky in that I can't simply lay it in here and obviously the very end I certainly can't do that. What I'm going to do, which is a bit of arts and craft. Yeah, so we have some lovely paper, some scissors in order to cut said paper. No rock, we're not involving that in this situation, but we do have some tape otherwise. What I need to do first is just kind of get an idea for the angles. Uh, notch out the, I suppose, slices, wedges, whatever you want to call it, just so I can get this in one nice continuous running piece all the way top to bottom. When I get to the very end, however, I will need to notch the top of it, so to speak, but it is a bit too tall to go in there. So I'll be cutting a, I don't know, like a, just like a section in here so I can slot in like a, a jigsaw piece puzzle. Not even like that, but I'm sure you know what I mean. You'll see it anyway. But the, the idea will be to jam it in there, it will not move. I will of course be welding onto that section as well for reinforcement. To the end, there is that massive hole. I'll be running a bolt through there. That is the rear cross brace itself. So of course I've got strength there, I've got strength up here, and then through this section where that'll be resting onto, it just gives a bit more surface area, it just gives a bit more strength, stability, etc, etc, etc. I did originally want to do, as suggested by, uh, by Ian, uh, which he showed me on his machine, is doing this awesome system here. I have talked about that in the past. Unfortunately, the state in which I live in does not allow for such. So I have to run original floor pans. But they didn't say anything about bracing it. And the fact of the matter is too, and I know I'm rambling on here, but there is a reason behind going into this. Adding this realistically shouldn't change the dynamics so much because that there is already far more substantial compared to a Volkswagen body. That has way more metal, way more thick steel in it, and of course that is, you know, resting all that weight on the inside section here, not on the external pieces which the bug body would be. So the strength for the bug body is in these corners here. The side pieces here are simply to secure the floor on. Realistically, because my system doesn't really secure to the end pieces as such, adding this will give a bit more structural rigidity. So it is something I had in mind from the very beginning. I wanted to add that in. I've also seen there's apparently a kit, but I can't find said kit. It more or less is a proper system that rests in here. It's all the right sizes and this adds more structure and strength, but I couldn't find it. At the end of the day, this was free. So it's just work on my part to do so. So yeah, more or less, I'll get stuck into this paper, figure out some angles. I think the easiest one will be here, but this one where I've got the say so dog leg so to speak, that's going to be the more difficult one. I've got to get the angle right and then more or less just rest this over the other piece and then copy pasta. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with that.
overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's always the fact in my head that I can do this so much simpler. It seems relatively straightforward, but it's not. Uh, not off the bat anyway. I mean, with practice, obviously, I could probably get this down pat really nicely. But it's first time I've actually like cut metal and tried to do angles and fit into this sort of space. The fact is I was trying to follow the lines of the holes and of course there are a number underneath here. In trying to keep it in line, this section here, it looks just like a curb, but the more I looked at it, it is actually more complex. And the problem is that the holes were further in compared to simply just having one bend in this very corner here going straight. I couldn't do that because there was one hole that was kind of in line, the further hole over a little more. I'm looking down and of course I can still see a bit of daylight, mostly from yeah, not being center. But there is a massive section there and the bolts you get typically are a little bit smaller. They don't fill the entire hole as such. So with that being the case, what I'll be doing is welding this up putting some sleeves in here in the future when I do the holes. And then the bolts that I get, I'll get some high tensile bolts and everything. They'll more or less rest within those, uh, I did say the word before, but my mind's a little foggy today. So the holes, put it at that. Um, so when I put them through, clamp it down, obviously it should be okay. I can't see a real problem with that. It should be fine. Uh, it's everything along here is, Brilliant. I mean, there isn't one that doesn't really line up crisp and nice. It's just this one. It just became a bit harder for me. It was mostly due to this very bend here. Uh, I took a bit too much metal out, but that again was when I was just going for one bend and I thought, okay, fine. I'll just redo the entire thing. But then the more I looked, I needed to put extra cuts into it anyway to make further bends. So I was kind of left it at that. When I do the opposite side, I will take a little more time, <laughs> again impatience on my part, uh, try to do a few more angles here and there. So I'll be doing a few more cuts, just kind of, I don't know, accordion basically, um, just to try and get that a bit more nice. Uh, so yeah, that'll be something I'll be doing on the other side, then I'll be getting onto welding, which will be starting next week. So welding this all up, making it one piece, and then of course fixing these brackets, which will need a bit more further modification now, with this chunk in the way, this little corner here, uh, basically fouls on it. So I'll be cutting that off to remove any fouling surface area there, which again, isn't too bad. Otherwise it runs through really nicely. The channel itself runs perfectly underneath. So again, I've got no real issues there. So I'll be doing a slight bit of welding at the end here, just to cap off that section. At the back here, same sort of deal where the uh, pieces, I don't know what the name of that is, but yeah. Uh, and then putting those on top and then we're pretty much done on that section. I do like the fact of this and I think had I not screwed this up so badly and of course I can fix that, it's easy fix. I basically just make a slice uh, out of the off cut, bust it in there and then weld up along there. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, a bit more reinforcement, a bit more structural rigidity. This was rather flimsy and of course now, even though it's not bolted down yet and not welded in there, it is substantially more strong, obviously. I mean, I've got three mil thick square bar through here. So I'm really happy with that. And it's gonna make a massive difference when I put the space frame on, which was the whole point. I wanted it to have a nice solid surface so it wouldn't cause tearing, especially the fact that these are the cheaper, thinner steel plates. So. End of the day, it was an extra resolve to fix a problem, but to be perfectly honest, I was gonna do this anyway. So it doesn't really matter how I bought the more expensive, slightly thicker steel ones, or these ones. And of course, got these for an absolute bargain, got this steel for free, absolutely brilliant setup. So I'm really happy with the result on that. So I'm gonna crack on, uh, finish the rest of this, do the other side, hope I can get that done. It is now for me the end of the week. So of course, wrapping this up. Uh, I have a week behind of when I was gonna release this. So I just wanted to get something out doing this. And of course, next week I'll be going further on and doing the welding. So that'll be part two of this whole re-bracing structural whatever. Anyway, I'm rambling on as always. I love to do, I love the sound of my own voice.
Sure. Anyway, so uh, that's going to do it again today, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, like, subscribe, comment below, etc. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbour that if he ever plans to do something, release on a certain time, just don't worry about it and do it the week after. Which is exactly what I did. So it works out in the end. Anyway, guys, until next time, cheers.